This week we have two words, hemicuda. Or is that one word? There's a saying in the collector car world that goes, they're only original once. Uh, there's a lot of cars in the Brothers Collection that have recent perfect restorations where the cars look like brand new. And there's a handful of cars that we like to call survivors. And these are cars that have been driven and maintained over the years, but are largely original, uh, complete with some of the flaws. And today's car is a great example of a survivor in a very rare car. It's a 1971 Plymouth Cuda with a 426 Hemi uh, and an automatic in Tor Red. And it's a survivor. This car has not been restored. It looks like the wheels might have been repainted and it no doubt has had maintenance items taken care of over the years. But the way this car sits today is representative of a car that was driven and enjoyed, uh, but definitely not restored. And it's very cool. They didn't make very many 1971 Hemi Cudas. Uh, I think in this combination, which has the 426 Hemi engine, uh, the Torque Flight automatic transmission, and the nine and three quarter inch uh, Dana 60 rear axle, you're looking at maybe 49 cars, I think. And although it looks orange, the color is actually Tor Red, which is the Plymouth version of Dodge Hemi Orange. Uh, the interior is black and it is a well-worn car. It's got areas where the paint is kind of rubbed through, and it's got some chips and scratches, and when you look under the hood, there's some dirt and you know evidence of grease and leaks and things like that. But it's, uh, it's neat to see how an original car has stood up over all these years. Uh, the Cuda itself for 1971 went through a slight design update. Uh, to me, they look more like a fish. You have uh, gills in the grill, uh, you also have some neat side gills on the fenders, um, but this car is also wearing its very basic stamp steel wheels with, you know, the, the dog dish hubcaps, uh, and there's nothing fancy about it, uh, which is part of the charm of this car. You know, it's, it's a bare bones, basic, Hemi-powered car, so this could have been a street racer, could have been a drag racer, could have been somebody who didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money and they just wanted a basic car that went really fast. I mean, that's kind of the essence of a muscle car. Uh, what we liked about it is it's perfectly complete and it does have a couple of neat details on it, like on the uh, core support under the hood, there's the date written in a paint marker of when this car had its pre-delivery inspection. Some people would have been, you know, super freaked out about a dealership marking their car with a paint marker and might have taken that off. And we have all the paperwork on the car to show that that date coincides with its delivery date to the original first buyer. So it's kind of a neat piece of history. So this is what you came to see, the 426 Hemi under the big shaker hood scoop. It's very cool and I, I really like this car because it's an unrestored survivor and it hasn't been detailed its whole life and polished. I mean this was driven, it's, it's pretty clean but again it's kind of dirty, you know, it's just a, just a car it looks like. It's not 100% stock, there was a couple things added. Got an MSD ignition box over there and an incorrect you know, late model battery. But overall, this is what it would have looked like when you popped the hood on the car new, giving you just a look back at what this thing was. And the originality is all you know, kind of fine and cool, but the best part about the car is that it's a Hemi Cuda. You know, come on. Uh, 426 cubic inch Hemi V8 under the hood. These things had uh, high compression. They advertised they made 425 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque. Everybody knows that those numbers might have been fudged a little bit. Uh, the Hemi cars for 1971 still kept their high horsepower rating, whereas uh, the big engine cars from other manufacturers were starting to see the squeeze from emissions and lower uh, octane gasoline and insurance companies start to push their horsepower numbers down. Uh, but not the mighty 426 Hemi. This was the last year for the 426 Hemi, and it's cool to see that uh, Plymouth kept it uh, at its full strength version all the way to the end of the line.
So it's pretty special to see any factory installed numbers matching Hemi Cuda at a show or at an event. It's very cool that the Brothers Collection has more than one Hemi Cuda. Uh, we've shown you some convertibles and some other Hemi Cudas in the past, but this one is extra cool because it is an all original surviving car. We're glad that they have these things in the collection and we're also happy that we can bring them to you each week on Muscle Car of the Week. This is one of those cars that if it had the ability to talk and tell stories, can't even imagine what kind of trouble it got in over the years. You can see more of this car on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com and engage in the conversation on our Facebook page. And if you're watching these on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week.